Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another good question from the topic of probability and the question has been taken from the ZAC 2021 exam. Now the question is as follows, a small store has 5 units of a few phone model in stock, 2 white, 2 black and 1 red. 3 customers arrive at the shop to buy a unit each. Each one has a predetermined choice of the color and will not buy a unit of any other color. All the three customers are equally likely to have chosen any of the three colors. What is the probability that the store will be able to satisfy all the three customers? So this was our question and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come back to the video for the solution. I hope that I've tried the question and you've got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to a given question, it is given that a small store has 5 units of a new phone. So we have 5 units of the new phone and it is 2 white, 2 black and 1 red. So the availability is we have 2 white phones, 2 black phones and 1 red phone. Now it is given that 3 customers arrive at the shop. So we have 3 customers and each one has a predetermined choice of the color and will not buy a unit of any other color. So they can either choose white, black or red. It is the predetermined choice. Now it is again given that all three customers are equally likely to have chosen any of the three colors. So they can choose any of white, black or red as their choice. Now we have to find the probability that the store will be able to satisfy all the three customers. So let us first calculate the sample space for this probability have person 1, person 2 and person 3. Now each of them can have 3 choices as white, black or red. So we total have 3 into 3 into 3, 27 cases in total. So we have 27 different cases and we have to find in what of these cases their needs are satisfied. So let's take a sample in which their need is satisfied. So we have person 1, person 2 and person 3. So let's take that their total choice is 2 white and 1 red. Now can this be satisfied? Yes, it can be satisfied as they have 2 whites and 1 red in their stock. Now what can be the different ways? Person 1 chooses white, person 2 chooses white and person 3 chooses red. Other can be white, red, white or red, white, white. So we have 3 different cases in which 2 whites and 1 red can be chosen. Now this can be easily find out by using the method of permutation. So we have 3 factorial because we have 3 different things and 2 of them are identical. So we will divide it by 2 factorial and we will get 3. So the faster and easier way is we list down all the cases and then permute them and add them and then we will get our required cases in which they are satisfied. So what are the cases? So if we have got 1, 2 white and 1 red. 2 black and 1 red will also be satisfied, 2 white and 1 black will be satisfied and 2 black and 1 white will also be satisfied. Now the last case will be 1 white, 1 black and 1 red. So these are all the cases in which my customers need will be satisfied by the store. So what will be our permutations? So it is 3 factorial by 2 factorial which is equal to 3, same for the number 2. For number 3 as well, 3 factorial by 2 factorial, 2 black and 1 white can uh, again be permitted as 3 factorial by 2 factorial which is equal to 3 and 1 white, 1 black and 1 red can be permitted indirectly 3 factorial ways that is equal to 6. So if I add all these, I will get 18 different cases in which their needs are satisfied. Now my probability is equal to the required cases by total sample space that is equal to 27. Now they both are divisible by 9 so my final answer is 2 by 3. So in two thirds of the cases my needs are satisfied and that's how we got a probability. So what we had to do is we had to first find the total number of sample cases that is equal to 27 and then we had to find in which of the possible ways their needs are satisfied. So we got that if we use the method of permutation it can be easily solved and these were the possible cases and on adding all the values we got total 18 cases 
Now we will have to simply divide 18 by the total cases to find out the probability that is 2 by 3 which is the answer for this question.